Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. We're still working on our uh, quarantine special stay at home, and uh, we'll continue to do that. I'll try and get a video up every day. Today's video is a little survey of dual band uh, VHF UHF radios, radios that operate both on two meters and on 70 centimeters. Now I'm limiting this to those that do FM and those that do digital, either D star, C4 FM, or DMR. And I'm not going to say that my survey of the Chinese radios is complete because there are a number of them out there, many of which I've never heard of. But let's just go through this real quickly. This is a survey of VHF, UHF dual band radios. The prices are as of today, the 14th of April, 2020, and they're from the DX Engineering uh, website. Now, the DX Engineering says a lot of these are on sale, but the sale prices are usually matched. So these prices can go up, can go down. So the Alinko only has an FM radio a dual band radio and it is the DR735T uh, it's just plain AM or I'm sorry plain FM radio no digital $318 seems a little high for that ICOM has uh, three radios one that is just FM and the other two have D star the IC2730A is an FM transceiver for $260.95 the other two are D-Star radios. The ID4100A uh, dual band, it has a detached screen, Bluetooth, etc. It's $303. Okay, so we've got $260 up to $303. And then they have their big flagship ID5100AD, the VHF, UHF digital transceiver. It's got D-Star GPS control head separate, etc. for $368.95. Now the separate control head is actually considerably larger than uh, the body of the radio itself. Uh, I have one here that uh, uh, Brad Rich loaned to me and I will be uh, reviewing that fairly soon. Kenwood has gotten out of the digital marketplace. These are the only two I found for sale. And both, <clears throat> both, excuse me, both a little bit pricey. Uh, the V71A dual band transceiver, uh, it's FM. And then the D710GA uh, uh, FM dual band mobile. No digital on either one. That one's pretty pricey. Now it's got a lot of features like GPS and things like that. Now in the Yesu area, we've got all digital. There are no more of the radios like I have. My radio up here is a uh, Yesu that's just uh, FM on two meters and 70 centimeters, and they don't make that model anymore. Their models run from $209. Again, all of these are digital all the way up to 489 you can spend a great deal of money on these radios if you want now I picked uh, two brands of Chinese the Anytone D578 UV3 Pro uh, which is actually a tri-band radio it's got uh, uh, 222 in it also it's both DMR and FM uh, it's the only DMR radio on this list by the way uh, it has an external GPS antenna included. Uh, it's got the programming cable included. It's $399.99, about $400. Now it's interesting to note where that fits in with these others here. It's actually a little more expensive than the ID5100 uh, ICOM um, that has a separate control head and so on. Um, I know this radio because I've been working with it. It's an outstanding radio. And then there's a company called B-Tech, which is Baofeng Tech. They work with Baofeng to make radios special for them. And uh, so you're dealing with Americans on this here. I did a review on this one. 
uh, about two years ago, the UV 25X2 uh, dual band 25 watts. Look at that price. Only $114 for a dual band FM radio at 25 watts. You have to pay another 20 bucks for the programming cable, but for that price you can do that. And you program it with Chirp. They also have similar radios. Again, these are FM only. BTEC Mobile UV50X2, which is just like this one except 50 watts. There's another one in there too, but then this is the one that I thought was interesting. The UV50X3, which is three bands. It has that 220, 50 watts detachable screen. Look at the price jump from 179 to 379. Woo! If you just want a, a simple FM radio 50 watts, you pay 180 for it. Or if you're willing to go with 25 watts, which for a long time was the standard, um, it's uh, $115. This one right here looks like a really good candidate for the FM only dual band radio. Okay, um, I, I've got a call into the person who loaned it to me to see uh, whether he still likes it or not. Um, there's some other radios here that are categories for digital. You're at $200, you're into C4 FM right here. Um, ICOM, to get into digital, you've got to throw in about another $100. So this is the survey of the dual band radios, a single band radio, did not make the list. I didn't put those on here. There are some single band radios, but um, I had set as a requirement for these mobile radios that they be dual band. So that concludes this uh, episode of Ask Dave, and I hope you'll go to decastlercom support and uh, be safe. Help your neighbors do good, share your resources. This is a tough time for a lot of people. And if you're feeling good, then you'll feel even better when you can find ways to help. Until we next meet, 73.